Now I'd like to talk a little bit about that swirling gas that we talked about at the beginning. Because the gas is swirling, it's actually traveling in a clockwise direction. It has some physical effects on the edge quality as you're cutting. Now what I'm going to do is a plan view of your material. Now essentially you have a slot where the plasma's traveled. And this is the material that's been removed by the cut. At the face of the cut is the plasma. Now the plasma is traveling, as I mentioned, in a clockwise spiral. Now because that's spiraling, it's removing the material at the face in this direction. Because there's solid metal all around the plasma beam, it's going to generally confine that to a vertical beam. As it's coming around the right hand side of the cut, it's also surrounded by material and it has some resistance to wanting to go out of control. But something happens as the spiral goes through the material and the plasma comes into the existing cut where there's no material. Because there's nothing to confine the beam, it tends to want to spray out. Now that means that you're generally getting a good confined cut across the face and down the right hand side but this plasma spraying out will generally give you an undercut. I'll just do an edge view here. So if you can imagine this is your piece of material. And this has been removed already. And the, the beam is coming down here, plasma arc, and it's spiraling. Now as it's traveling across the face and across the right hand side, it's contained. But as it sprays across, it will create this effect. And will tend to leave an undercut on the edge of your part. Now this is always on the left hand side of the cut as it happens. So that means whenever the plasma is traveling in any given direction, the right hand side of the cut is generally good. And of course the left hand side of the cut, bad. Now fortunately the software that we use today is very intelligent and it's able to automatically control the direction of the plasma so that it always keeps the part on the right hand side of the cut. Now this is often referred to by the term kerf left. It means simply that the plasma is offsetting to the left of the part. It always keeps the part to its right hand side. Now as I said, because the plasma is generally leaving a good cut on the right hand side, Imagine it's cutting around a piece of material like this. Now, the plasma would have to travel around clockwise around the outside in order to always keep the good side on the right. As I said, it's called kerf left because this line represents the actual part and it's traveling to the left of the line. Now, that offset is generated automatically by the software, so you don't have to worry about it. Software also generates the direction, so it makes sure that it's traveling in the optimum direction. But what confuses a lot of people is if you have a hole. Now, if you're cutting this hole, and you want to keep the part on the right-hand side of the cut, you need to travel in an anti-clockwise direction. It's a little bit confusing, but it's quite obvious when you think about it. That means that external shapes will cut clockwise, internal shapes will cut counterclockwise. Simple.